everybody. This time around, the question is very appropriate for what's going on in the world. And I've been getting this question a lot in one flavor or another. The question is, why is politics so bad? <laughs> I get it. There's a lot going on. And it's okay to feel that way, but I want to tell you a story. When I was a little kid, like, I don't know, kindergarten, preschool, little, I loved to... Uh, I love to read comic books. I started reading at a very early age and reading was a big deal for me. I knew that somehow or another reading made you smart and smart made you happy and successful and able to deal with life and the whole deal. So this was the gateway, you know? But early on in, uh, in school, like I said, preschool, kindergarten, something like that, teacher passed out some little books and I was fiddling around. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. This happens a lot for me. And I gave myself a paper cut on my thumb. And it was really bleeding. You know, paper cuts, oh, it's the worst, you know? It's one of those things. Little kid, you don't want to be cut. It's, it's something you don't like to see, the whole deal. And I was freaking out a little bit as a little kid. And I said, that's it. I'm never reading again. Now, obviously, that's not what, <laughs> what happened. I didn't follow through on that crazy vow, but... Why was it crazy? It was crazy because you and I know that there's nothing wrong with reading. I wasn't doing it right. I wasn't being respectful of the medium or the process or the whole thing. I was not doing it the way I was supposed to do it. And even though I did it wrong one time, that doesn't mean that forever it should be banned. Hmm. There's a lot we can learn from that. And you have stories like that in your own life. There have been times when you can make some weird blanket pronouncement that is completely inappropriate. I got my heart broken. I'm never going to love again. Well, it's just that one person. I got food poisoning. I'm never going to a restaurant again. Come on. You know what I mean. I got a hole in my shoe, so it's barefoot for me forever. You know better, right? Well, you know where I'm going with this. Yes, it is the case that there are people who do all kinds of selfish, terrible, greedy, you name it, things in the name of politics. But I gotta tell you, it doesn't mean that politics is bad. Look it up in the dictionary. The word politics simply means, basically, if you want to get something done that involves a large group of people, what you're doing is a political something. Well, there's a lot of us here on planet Earth. There's a lot of us here in this life, and we got a lot to do. And you know what? We're going to have to learn how to work together if we're going to get anything done. So is politics bad? No, but we got to use it better. And in fact, you can't not do politics. Anarchy is still a political statement. Not voting is still a political statement. You can't help it. You're part of this world. So might as well embrace it, be intentional about it so that you can grow through it and the world that we share and make together can grow too. Of course, politics isn't bad. So how do we fix it when there's so much craziness going on? Well, just like everything else, you fix it with intention. You fix it with intention. Things get better when you do them and you know that you're doing them and you do them with your head and heart and hands when everything is involved. No more compartmentalizing this stuff. Engage in it. Be willful about your political stance. Do what you do because of the love in your heart and the logic in your head and move forward with your hands from there. That's how this works. Don't be okay with the hypocrisy. Don't be okay with the greed and the criminality and all that. That's great. Don't be okay with that. But stand for something. Or, just like they say, you'll fall for anything. Of course, politics isn't bad, but it's time for us to use it right. Just like everything else. So thanks for the great question. Keep them coming. You know how to send me questions. You can visit my website, waypastok.com. You can post a tweet or an Instagram post with the hashtag AskDeter. You can send me an email. You know how to get a hold of me. Please continue doing it. I love hearing from you and hearing how this stuff is working for you and what you want to know about next. So keep them coming. Please like and subscribe to this. And always, 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 please share these posts. It means the world. Come find me on waypastok.com. I got lots to say and lots to share with you. You got this.